All right. Normally, I don't do this. Normally, this, you know, I, I don't mind tackling uh, the more controversial subjects in the blog. That's normally what I do. If, um, if I've got something to say about gay rights, or if I've got something to say about politics, which I haven't had anything to say about politics in a long time, but if I did, I would say it in the blog. Because the videos, I tend to... Uh, say, okay, I'm going to do a movie review, or I'm going to do, you know, some fun. This one, though, I want you to see how mad I get. Um, okay, so... I'm not a sports guy. At all. I've never been a sports guy. Um, from the time I was a little kid, I had no interest in sports. I'm not any good at sports. I can basically, I can hit a baseball. <laughs> um, and that's about the best thing I can do in sports, is I can hit a baseball. Uh, outside of that, there's not a hell of a lot I can do. Um, but moreover, I just dislike the, um, I dislike sports for basically... You know, everybody sees sports as sort of in a field of dreams kind of way. You know, the the glory of athletics and the uh, how noble it is and everything. I would like to go on record as saying that I went to Lakewood High School in the mid-90s. Now, if you don't remember Lakewood High, ah, okay, maybe you'll remember the name Spur Posse. Does that ring any bells with anybody? I'm guessing if you're around my age, it'll probably ring a couple of bells. The Spur Posse was national news. And it was my high school that that all went down in. Literally the year before I started. When I showed up at my first day of high school, there were still TV camera crews from 2020. <laughs> Uh, outside. That was my first day of school, was the national media being there reporting on this story still. Spur Posse, for everybody who doesn't know, was this group of football players who uh, started doing a point system for girls that they would have sex with. And uh, it was well known what was going on. The football coach knew. Everybody knew what was going on. But then all of a sudden, some of these girls start saying they were raped. And, you know, the point system and all that stuff, everybody was, oh, we didn't know that was happening. That's horrible. That's, you know, terrible thing. And, oh, shame on them. Um... Basically, what happened was, instead of these football players getting into trouble, um, they became national celebrities. They went on talk shows bragging about what they did. Uh, they, they denied the rape charges, but they sort of reveled in the point system thing, and they were big studs, and blah, blah, blah. Now... I completely believe the girls who said that they were raped for a lot of reasons. The first reason is just because the the national media sort of shined a light on the Spur Posse and said, well, it's just this one group of boys and now that's over. No, no, no. The Spur Posse went on for the four years I went to Lakewood High. Okay, I don't know if they really called themselves the Spur Posse, but the point system went on and the, the, the football players, you know... Uh, uh, banging girls and, and uh, you know, doing a point system for it and everything. That, that continued. I think that happened at a, happens at a lot of schools and nobody does anything about it. Um, but I believe the rape charges because there were girls I knew who said they were raped and they didn't come forward. And the reason they didn't come forward is because nothing was done about the girls when the national media was looking. So... Why say anything, you know, when when the news 
uh, reporters have all moved on to the next story. Um, basically, these girls all dropped the charges, the rape charges, because of intimidation, because some of their dads worked for the dads of the football players, um, because their parents didn't want to be seen as social pariahs, because God forbid that you say anything about the local high school football team. That's just un-American. I'm going to say this right now. Fuck football, okay? Fuck football. Fuck football. Fuck Lakewood High School. Go Big Red. Fuck Big Red, okay? Fuck Big Red. That's how I feel about it, okay? These guys should have been kicked out of school. These guys, The football coach should have been fired. All of that should have happened and more, okay? The one good thing about it is the guys never really lived down the Spur Posse, so they couldn't get into regular, everyday relationships with women. Um, I think a few of them killed themselves. I don't feel sad about that, okay? This culture of, of blaming the victims when... You like the victimizer. It's got to stop. And Penn State is the perfect fucking example of that. Okay? Again, not a football player, so I don't have any stake in, oh, well, you know, they had a really good football team and the coach was really awesome. Okay? You know what? I don't give a shit about that. Here's what is embarrassing, and if you have any sort of connection to Penn State, even as a fan of their football team, you should be fucking embarrassed by this, is that uh, Joe Paterno, so he's out, right? Because he knew about uh, this Sandusky guy molesting kids. He knew about it. Oh, well, he reported it. He reported it. Yeah, he reported it. Nothing was done about it, and then he didn't do anything more about it either. So he's out, right? His ass is gone. What happens the fucking school erupts into a riot for this guy. Not for the victims. Not for these kids who were raped. Not for that. No, no, no. Because a football coach that everybody likes got fired. Uh, and he was allowed to resign, too, wasn't he? Like, it wasn't it like, you know, well, you leave at the end of the year or whatever. I don't know if that was rescinded or not and he was fired. Either way, fuck him. Okay, fuck him. Because he knew about this shit, he did the bare minimum, and then when nothing was done about it, he just went, well, I did what I, you know, had to do, and that's all. Fuck him. I don't have any fucking sympathy for him. You know who I have sympathy for? I have sympathy for these kids who are now uh, being further victimized. Everybody's calling them liars. Why are they calling them liars? Because they like this football coach. Because they like the football team. Because they don't want to see their precious little fucking football team hurt. All of these kids who say they were molested and raped must be liars. You know, this shit... It, I did the article about bullying. Uh, and that's like, I think, a, kind of a separate thing, but there are similar threads. Um... You know, nobody wants to deal with anything. Nobody wants, you know, whenever something uncomfortable comes up, we just sort of, we try to look at both sides, which is irritating as shit to me. And we say, well, you know, I mean, we do it with rape victims all the time. We do it with rape, you know. Well, what were you, you know, what did the cops always, when they, when somebody says they were raped, well, what were you wearing? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? I was wearing a fucking G-string, and I was topless. Does that fucking mean that anybody had the right to put their fucking hands on me? No. Okay? No. It doesn't. Uh, you know, blank, well, was, was the sex with the children consensual, or was, were the children raped? Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't fucking matter. At all. Okay? The kids were like 10. Okay? I don't care if, if they were, uh, you know, wearing halter tops and, and 
uh, coming on to the guy. I don't give a shit what the fucking circumstances were, if the kids wanted it or not. They're 10. Okay? The guy goes to jail. The guy goes to jail, by the way, cut his fucking dick off, is the other part of this. I don't have any fucking sympathy. There's no stop the hate for pedophiles, okay? This guy uh, needs to go away. If he, if he did what he did, and I, again, trial's happening right now. We'll see. But if it's if he's convicted, this guy needs to go away forever and ever and ever. And anybody who covered up for him or or helped him, you know, uh, carry on these rapes and, and molestations, they need to go away for just as long. Just as long. And this happens, this kind of shit, man, it happens all the time. It happened in the Catholic Church. You know, these altar boys say they were molested. And uh, you got all these hardcore Catholics saying, well, they must be lying. They're, they must be, uh, they were influenced by anti-Catholic uh, sentiments and, uh, you know, or the devil got to them or whatever. You know, here's the thing for me, personally. And I, I found that this has served me well in my life. I don't believe in any institutions at all. At all. Not one. You can't name me an institution that I believe in. Okay? Because I know that, first of all, every institution portrays itself as uh, perfect. And because I know that nothing is perfect, because I know that Everything has a dark side that if you just scratch a little bit at that golden sheen that they all present, that you will find some sort of rot underneath it. Um, I don't get caught up in this kind of shit. I don't get caught up in, well, I don't believe that, uh, uh, you know, a Catholic priest would molest a kid. They've been doing it for centuries, okay, and you can, I'm not saying every Catholic priest, I've known Catholic, I used to be Catholic, okay, I've known plenty of Catholic priests who are good men, who only want to do the right thing, who only want to help people, not every Catholic priest is guilty of molesting kids or of covering it up, okay, but a, there's a lot that did it, there's a lot, you, you can, you can shake your head and deny it and go to your conspiracy theory websites that, that list all the reasons why that's false. These guys did it. Okay? You know in your heart that these guys did it. And just because they wear the little collar uh, doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean shit. These guys need to go away. Okay? Michael Jackson. Oh, no. Don't speak ill of Michael Jackson. He died. I don't give a shit if Michael Jackson died. Okay, now he was never convicted of molesting kids, but at the very least, at the very least, his relationship with children was completely inappropriate. Completely inappropriate. Okay. And to this day, oh, well, but, you know, there are people who were saying, even if Michael did it, he's such a national treasure. We can't throw him in jail. Look at him. He's just trying to relive his the childhood that he never got to have and blah 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 fuck michael jackson okay i don't give a shit about michael jackson okay i don't care i don't care these kids that were victimized are what we should all be worried about now can kids lie yes can rape victims lie yes i've had it happen to me i had it happen to me once okay i had a girl who i was friends with and uh, after a party one night, she just jumped all over me. I mean, really kind of surprised me. We'd been friends for almost a year. And uh, just, just literally, this, this girl just, like, pounced on me. Okay. Now, she had, like, this rich internet boyfriend who had already proposed to her after meeting her, like, once in person. And... Uh, So all of a sudden, she goes around telling everybody that I raped her. There's never charges filed or anything like that. But she, you know, 
doesn't want to lose this uh, meal ticket that she's got on the, on the line. And so she goes around telling everybody that I raped her. And you know, this is how fucking ridiculous that whole thing is, by the way. I mean, not only is she all over me, I'm kind of really confused. I don't understand what's going on. Uh, I was only uh, 19 years old. Uh, very sexually inexperienced. And I didn't... She was my friend. She was uh, older than I was. She was, I think, 27, 20, 25 to 27, I don't remember. Um, sort of my, like it felt like an older sister. I was really fucking confused what was going on. To the point where when she told me to go to the bathroom and get a condom, I went into the bathroom, put a condom on, and then pulled my pants back up. Because I thought, uh, you know, well, yeah, she wants me to put a condom on, but we're not going to have sex. Because it's her, and that doesn't sound like that's, that would be weird. And But it did. It happened. And I was completely confused by it, completely, you know, and the very next day, you know, that was like the last time I ever saw her after like a year of hanging out practically every day, and, um, and she, you know, next thing I know, I'm hearing that, you know, she said that after the party, I raped her. So I know, as well as anybody, that people can lie. And by the way, if you're a fucking woman, or man, or child, who lies about being raped or molested, you're a piece of shit. You're, a, you're as bad as the fucking molesters. You know why? Because when people don't believe victims... It's your fucking fault. It's your fault. They don't believe them. Because you fucking go around lying about what happened to you. And, you know, these kids who were molested, who supposedly molested at Penn State, the kids who were molested in the Catholic Church, um, the girls who were raped at my high school, nobody believed them because of, well, you know, Sometimes people lie just to get attention, you know, big football players, you know, they just want to get a piece of that fame. I, I don't, I don't understand this Penn State thing. I don't understand it, you know, that this coach, I guess, uh, that he died, he's died. I really have not paid attention to the news. I'm only talking about this because it popped up in a, in a, Newsweek article that I was just reading, and I was just disgusted by it. The fact that this guy is now looked at as, uh, they're trying to, to completely whitewash his reputation, uh, because everybody is, the students uh, and faculty love this guy, because he was a big-time football coach. That's it. Why is that a big deal? Why is it a big deal if somebody's a football coach or a football player? Or, you know, why is that? I, I have a... This is around the time that, that really I realized that all the things I'd ever thought about football players were actually true. Was um, when I was in high school, I had a friend named Ben. And we were, we were in an economics class together, okay? Sitting, and we were about to take a test. Ben sat towards the front of the class. I was in the back. And we were about to take this test. And Ben didn't, he realized his pencil wasn't, it was broke. So he needed a new pencil. And he leans over to the guy next to him. And he says, real quietly. I mean, I, you know, we're in the same room, but I didn't hear it. Leans in real quietly and says, hey, you, you got a pencil I can borrow. The teacher lost his shit. Teacher lost his shit. Don't you talk in my classroom. He picks up Ben's test and he tears it in half. And he's like, you just got an F. Get the hell out of my class and sent Ben off. Ben's, he's saying, I just, the test hadn't started, by the way. So he's not cheating. Uh, that was obvious. And Ben is saying, I j was just asking for a pencil. Okay, my pencil's broken. And the teacher kicked him out. That same test, I'm sitting there and I'm filling out, you know, it was a uh, multiple choice. I'm 
you know, coloring in the bubbles. And um, the football players in the back of the room, all in their jerseys, because that night was a game, they're sitting on their desks, not, not in the chairs, on their desks, sitting around talking. And I don't mean, I don't mean um, whispering and trying to get away with something. No, they're sitting around having a fucking conversation. And the teacher wanders back there and starts having the conversation with them. Not, oh, you guys need to keep it down, or, you know, you're talking during a test, you fail. No. Hey, so you guys are, you know, how's you confident about the big game tonight? Blah, 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 blah. They were football players, so they got to do whatever the fuck they wanted. Meanwhile, my friend, who was this skinny little musician with long hair, um, he gets thrown out for asking for a pencil. By the way, Lakewood High School football sucked when I went. I don't know what it is now, uh, but its I don't think we won, we won like one game in the four years that I went to that fucking school. Uh, I actually made money off of betting against my uh, against Lakewood High School football because the school pride kids you'd find them and you they wouldn't let it go. Well, no, Lakewood High School football we're great, we're awesome, we're due for a win. And I'd go, yeah, I bet you twenty bucks we lose. And I, you know, they couldn't refuse. And I cleaned up. But uh, so I have no respect for somebody because they can catch a ball or because they can play a sport. I have no respect for you, okay? If you're a good person aside from that, aside from the uniform that you wear, I'll have respect for you. The uniform doesn't get respect from me. The uniform doesn't get it, okay? Uh, because I know that the any asshole can wear a uniform. Any You could be the, big, the biggest piece of shit in the world behind that uniform. So why the fuck would I respect that uniform? Okay? I'll respect you as a person and but not the institution you represent. And so when I hear these these people saying, well, you know, a football player wouldn't do this or a football coach wouldn't do that. I I don't get it. I don't get it. Can anybody explain it to me? Does anybody disagree with me? Does anybody, you know, Comment below, let me know. But I'm sorry, I don't get it. I don't get it. I think that these kids have been done wrong. I think these kids, there should be an apology from the school. Penn State needs to issue an apology on behalf of their students who act like assholes, act like spoiled little fucking assholes. Uh on behalf of the faculty that covered it up, on behalf of anybody who knew anything about this or has at all dismissed the charges of these kids. You know what? These kids might be lying, but until you prove that they're lying, you show them some fucking sympathy. Okay? And after it's proven that they're liars, then you can fucking say whatever you want. Until then, these kids deserve some human decency. And um, just because somebody managed to successfully coach football um, does not excuse that kind of behavior. I mean, believe me, I have like I have I could make a whole list of uh, a whole video about what I feel about the influence of sports in our culture. And the, the shit that these athletes are allowed to get away with. Um, but that's a subject for another time. Right now, I really just want to say, stop the hate on these kids. Stop the hate on, the, on victims. For God's sake, can we please just show some kindness to some kids who've been through some shit? My God. And, and, and if you want to direct that hate somewhere... Directed towards the people that caused this situation. Directed towards the, the perpetrators of the crime and the conspirators that helped cover it up and the institutions that allowed it to happen. And leave the kids alone. Leave them out of it.
I don't believe that I needed to say that. But what else is there to say? <laughs>